Hi, good evening. How are you? Um, fine, how about you? And, uh, have you eaten your dinner? Yes, what mm -hmm. about you? I'm already done eating. Okay, so wait for a minute. Okay, so I will share my screen now. Okay, so this time, uh, last time, we are done with this topic. So now we are going to proceed to our next topic. And our next, our topic will be about fashion. Okay. okay. Now I, I'm going to ask you, what what is your idea? Or do you have any idea when you heard the word fashion? Actually, no. No, but do you know what is fashion? Yeah, like um, a dressing way. Mm -hmm. The way you dress. Okay, so now let's let's <clears throat> let's continue. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to do this task. You need to complete this one. Okay. 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 So in this task, you need to write the colors and names of the clothes that this this is Jenny and Kevin are wearing. Okay. And okay. The, their hair and how long is it? And you can choose uh, between this one. There are choices here. Okay. 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 <laughs> so for example, this one, this is uh, the an example. So it's pointing in the uh it's pointing the hair and the color is blonde and the name is hair okay so can you continue let's start with this one okay and the color is orange mm -hmm. orange and the name is miss white mm. dress okay dress Dress, or you can all also say blouse, but it is okay. You can call it dress. Okay, how about this one? Um, is a purple. Purple, is it's a skirt. It's purple and it's a skirt. The name is a skirt. How about this one? Um. <clears throat> uh, is brown. Mm -hmm. It's brown and the yeah. name is? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's, it, um, it's long sleeve. It's? I just think it, it's um, long sleeve. Long sleeve? No. I don't know. Just wait. Okay, it's called Those. boots. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I just forgot. Mm -hmm. You can you can say boots, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can also say sneakers, but it's okay to call these boots because it's really uh boots. Okay. Okay. Now let's proceed to Kevin. So let's start with this one. The color is. The color is um. Mm, I don't know what to call it. Like. Is like um orange, but yes, really I think it's red or it's it can be red and it can also be brown. Maybe. Or, okay, what but why are you going to choose? You can choose between the two colors because orange, I guess. Okay. So you, you choose orange. Orange and what's the name? Um wait me a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, mm, I can find this. So, like um, hair. Yes, it's a hair. I thought it was um another thing. Mm, it's hair. How about this one? The color. Blue. Blue. Okay, and what's the name? Mm, scarf. I think. <coughs> <clears throat> and maybe no. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can be a scarf because uh, there's a scarf here, and it can also be a tie. You know what is a tie? Yeah, I know. 
Okay, or a tie. <clears throat> so let's just put a slash. And how about this one? What's the color? Um, light blue. Light blue. And how about the name? Um, shirt. <clears throat> okay, it can be a shirt. Okay, let's just say shirt. Okay, and how about the last one? The color is? Black. Okay, the color is black. And how about the name? Um, is it's uh, boots. <clears throat> okay, I, I, it's not boots, actually. Like, um, shoes? Yes, it's shoes. Because when you say boots, it's just like this one. It's l long. When you say shoes, it's just like this one. Okay, so so we completed this one. So this is an example of fashion. Okay, the way the way they dress or the way they look, their styles. Okay. 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 So this one, it's a task really, but we can't use this one because you don't <clears throat> you you are not in a classroom and you can't find any classmates. Okay, but okay, let's just do it this way. Mm. Can and now can you can you describe? You will be student A, or you will. You're, but you're going to describe yourself. You're just going to tell me what are you wearing? Okay. Okay. Just like this one, it's an example. You're going to say, ladies and gentlemen, that one. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Um, I'm just a bit um, confused. Like um, like I have to um, like um, tell. You're, you're going to tell me just like this one. You're going to announce what are you wearing, or are uh, do you have someone with you, or is your brother there? You can describe what what he or she is wearing. Yeah, but he go. I just just this. I will just describe mine. Okay, so you can describe yours. But you're going to describe yourself. What are you wearing this way? Okay, like this one, like you are announcing. Okay? Okay. 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 Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am wearing a yellow shirt. A, um, how do you call it? Like, a, um, a uh, gray pant and a black a pair of black sock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, how about the color of your hair? You can also describe that one. It's my hair is black. Okay, very good. So that's how you you describe someone. Okay, now let's proceed with this one. So now we are going to read this passage, okay? <coughs> We're going to read this passage. And we are going to discuss about this one. We are going to read it um, by paragraph. So let's start with this first paragraph, okay? So can you read the first paragraph? We usually think language and communication have pre Hello? Double ways. For example, have you heard of body language? The way you stand, sit down, wake your arm, or raise your eyebrows to, to tell people what are you thinking? Okay. So we usually think language. You know what is language, right? Language yeah. and communication happen through words. So we think um, by speaking, we can have communications. But however, we express ourselves in many nonverbal ways. Do you know what nonverbal means? Um, can you explain just a bit? Okay, so when you say nonverbal, those are um, the things that even if we don't speak it or we, we are not going to say it, but we can still express ourselves, okay? 
Okay. Okay, it means those those things that the, the doesn't mean does not need to be spoken. Okay. 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 So that's uh the, those are nonverbal ways. So, so here we have an example. So for example, have you heard of body language? Do you know what is body language? Like um they like they use it um for deaf people or people that um having a problem with speaking. Mm -hmm. So that's body language. So you can use actions, right? So you're going to use your body to move so that other people can understand you. So even if you are not uh, speaking, you can also communicate, okay? Even okay. if you're not using words. So body language is just an example of a nonverbal way of communicating or expressing yourself. Okay. Okay. So... You use body language. Some people are also body using body language while speaking. So you can use uh, that two the two ways at the same time. You can speak and you can also use your body language. So it means you can speak while moving your body so that they can understand better. Okay. 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 So the way you stand, sit down, wave your arms, or raise your eyebrows tells other people what are you thinking, right? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's uh that those are examples of body language or how you move your body. Okay, how about this one? Let's go to the second paragraph. Okay. Clothing is also a language. The thing that you wear express your age, gender, occupation, and personality. In addition to your favorite rock group and TV star well before any word or spoken joke clothes communicate many things why not do some people watching on the bus or subway next time you travel see what people clothes tell you okay so it says here that clothing you know what is clothing right yeah so clothing is also a language so it means you can also communicate using your clothes or just by looking at what, what other people are wearing. So, for example, the things that you wear express your age, gender, occupation, and personality. So, in addition to your favorite rock group and TV star. So, do you agree with this one that you you can express your age, gender, occupation, and personality just based on the clothes that you wear? I think yes. Yes. Why do you think so? Like, um, you cannot, like, um, a, um, a old lady, but look like, um, just a young one, but um, she wear a clothes of um, old people, so it would, um, be easier to, um, like, um, know, guess her, her, um, age. Mm-hmm. That's really true. You, you can you can tell that that person is already old or young just by looking at the way um, he he wear clothes or the clothes that he or she wears. How about gender? When you say gender, can you tell what uh, what's the gender of the person by just looking at the clothes that he's wearing or she's wearing? Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. Like um. Like if boys um wear girl girl clothes, it would done um, like um like um is with like a chaos because it, it some boys may look really look like um girls, mm -hmm. yes, and that's... it would um difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about occupation? You know what is occupation, right? Mm, occupation. You know what it is? Um, Do you know that? I think I think I forgot. Okay, this means um your your job, okay? Okay. Your job or your profession, the work that you do, okay? Uh, examples of occupation. Uh, one example of occupation is teaching. Okay, it's an occupation, so it's your job or it's the 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 thing that you you do for a living, okay? Okay. Okay, so when you say occupation, can you uh, can you be able to express? your your occupation by just um wearing clothes 
Can you tell what is that person's occupation by just looking at his or her clothes? Um, I think yes. Mm -hmm. Like um, <clears throat> like uh, you can um like the difference between a office worker and um a normal normal um worker in other companies is it is different or like um it's not like each other. Mm hmm. And especially if they are wearing uniforms, right? Yeah. So each company have different uniforms. For example, like the teachers. So they have different uniforms with the... They don't have the same uniforms with the office workers or the construction workers. So you will be able to know their occupation by just looking at their clothes. Okay, how about personality? This one, do you agree? You know what is personality, right? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So do you do you agree that you can express your personality by just or you can know what is the what is the personality or what are the personalities of that person by just looking at his or her clothes? Um, I think it's not um, really true. Hmm? Like, uh, it's hard, right? Yeah. Like, um, when um, someone looks look and at your clothes uh, and it look a bit like um a bad person they would thought you are really are mm -hmm. yes so some people uh, you know what some people really like to to wear you know th those clothes which are not not really bad but when other people find it bad and and then they will also think that you are very bad but it's not yeah. really like that because we have different, you know, different likes or different tastes when it comes to fashion. Because maybe oh, some yeah. people like to wear that clothes. For example, now, there are a lot of women who likes to wear um, revealing clothes, right? You know what is revealing? Um, no. Like, okay, um, re revealing um, means very oh, short oh, clothes or just like, clothes. Um, just very sexy. It. Yes. They Very sexy clothes. Mm -hmm. I know. So that's what it means when when there are a lot of women who like to use revealing clothes or, for example, really very short um skirts or dresses which are you know that their 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 body is, you know, very exposed. So there are a lot of women who likes wearing that that clothes. Some are even wearing clothes that which um their their stomach are exposed, and other people will judge them because of that. They will think that that uh, that girl is bad or that girl is, you know, she's not really really good. Maybe some will call them bad bad you know bad words. Someone are telling them bad words but it really depends because i know a lot of girls who are wearing those kind of clothes but they really they have good personalities so i think that it's not really you can't really express yourself by what you wear but it also depends because there are also a lot of people who you know when you look at them and they're wearing very formal attire they're that maybe they're very conservative you know what is conservative um, no. Okay, when you say conservative, it means they are really following the, the traditions of their, the old traditions. They're paying okay. attention to that and they're really, um, for example, in, in our country, when you say conservative, that means we are going to follow our tradition. And in our tradition, in the old tradition, so our, the women, in the old times are really wearing long 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 skirts not short ones so other people are still really following those traditions okay how about this one <coughs> so well before any words are spoken your clothes communicate many things so why not do some people watching on the bus or subway next time you travel see what people clothes tell you okay so <coughs> have you tried this one when you are in a subway you know what is a subway right um, in, I think in a country, is there's not even subway. Okay, there's no subway in your country. But uh, how about a bus? Have you tried riding a bus? 
Mm, yeah, I, I, I did. Okay, so have you tried this one when you are riding a bus and then you are going to look at um, the people around you and then you are going to, to look at their clothes? And can you, can you, can you tell something about them or by just looking at their clothes? I think no. No. Okay. Like, um, how about, how can you tell their personalities when uh, you're not understanding them yet? Like, some people is look like, um, they're bad, but actually they're not. Mm-hmm. And you, but you know what? I think it depends because in our country, you can really tell when when you so when you we are going to talk about financial status. You know what is financial, right? How much money you have if you're rich or poor, okay? Because okay. in our country, you can really tell if that person is poor, especially those those people who are living in. Because in our country, we really have um people who are living under the bridge or. You know they don't really have a home so by just looking at their clothes you can really you can really tell that they're poor and there are also some people who by just looking at their appearance you or their clothes you can you can say that they're rich okay okay for example this one i'm going to show you a picture so this is a place in our country and it's called tondo tondo manila so the people are living in this place and it's really very dirty because they don't have homes so they're just going to live in this one and some are even living in the bridges so by just looking at at their appearance you can always you can really tell that they're poor but not every time i think it depends on your place okay so now let's continue how about this one okay the language of the fashion is especially important for teenagers. Adolescents, what's that? Um, I don't know what what is adolescent. Them. Adolescents, I can't. Okay. Like, By the way, when you say adolescence, it means um it's a period or it's a period of time when teenagers or you know it's not really teenagers because um it depends on your age when you're going to hit adolescence. So when you say adolescence, it's a period of time when you're going to undergo. You know what is puberty? in science yeah. Yeah. okay so that one it means you're going to develop your not just your body but also your yes you, you it will it's a period of time you're going to develop your body because in this time you are slowly turning into an adult okay okay <laughs> so you are developing your body is developing and you're also you're, you're thinking okay so because it's a period following the onset of puberty and when you say puberty it means um yes you you are changing from a, a teenager or a kid to an adult so there are a lot a lot of changes are going to happen with you your body your personality your thinking you're going to develop from a child into an adult okay okay it's a period of development <clears throat> okay so that's what adolescence means okay now can you continue reading okay it is a difficult time for of, of personal development Young adult, adults want to find their own identity, so they often rebel against their parents. This need to be protest and be different expressed in teenager fashion. At the same time, teenagers want to be cool with it, so they wear the latest thing, imitation, imitating fashion idols such as pop stars. Okay, so the language of, of fashion is especially important for teenagers. So just like you, you, you are a teenager, right? So <clears throat> is fashion really very important for you? No. No. Okay, so I think it really depends because some teenagers, you know what's especially these days, they're really very specific when it comes to fashion. Okay, so adolescence is a difficult time of personal development. It's really true because you are, um, when you are undergoing this process, you are in this period, a lot of changes are going to happen with you because there are a lot of development, not just your body. 
your body is also going to develop and also your mind, your thinking, so everything. So young adults want to find their own identity. You know what is identity, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so young adults, especially teenagers, um, in this in this period, they want to find their own identity. They want to, to understand what they really like. So who they really are, because you can tell who you really are by just, um, you know, um, just thinking what are what things do you really like? What things do you really do? So in that matter, you will know your own identity. So and also in this time, they often rebel against their parents. You know what is rebel? Uh, no. It means you are you are not going to follow your parents. You're going to do whatever you want to do, even if it's bad or even if you are not following the good things that the, your parents want you to do. Okay? Okay. Okay. You're, 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 you want to do what you really want. So it's, it's really adolescence. Adolescence is really a very difficult time. Okay, so this need to protest and be different is expressed in teenage fashion. So protest is just like rebel, okay? Okay. You 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 will disapprove everything that your parents want you to do. Okay. At the same time, teenagers want to be cool, and with it, so they wear the latest thing, imitating fashion idols such as pop stars. So this one, pop stars, it's a really a big influence to teenagers or young adults, because they are especially if they're they're idols, they they want to wear the things that their idol are idols are wearing. So okay. when you say <clears throat> fashion, there are really a lot of, you know, there are a lot of things that can affect or that, that has a great effect or can influence fashion. Okay. Okay. Okay, but I think we don't have enough time. So we'll, we're just going to continue this topic next time. Okay, so do you have questions? Um, no. Okay, so I have to go now. So thank you so much. Um, I'll see you next time and have a good night. Bye. Bye.